Hi, my name is Daniel Hakakshan, and I've been studying the emission patterns of optical microcavities. Our microcavities are composed of PMMA, or plexiglass, doped with DCM, which is a laser dye. We then pump the cavity from above with 532 nanometer pulsed laser and observe the emission at different angles with a spectrometer. Let's look at a simple Fabry Perot cavity as an example. As the laser dye molecules begin to fluoresce, the released photons produce stimulated emission in adjacent molecules, amplifying the light. These initial photons travel in all directions, but in some directions, the traveling light forms a closed path, sometimes called an orbit, and experiences further amplification. Additionally, once an orbit is formed, the light interferes with itself, creating standing wave patterns. We can see this reflected in the plot of intensity versus wavelength taken with a spectrometer. Each peak corresponds to an integer number of wavelengths within the cavity, since there are, these are the only wavelengths capable of forming a standing wave pattern and achieving maximum amplification. We can therefore use this equation to relate the spectrum to the length of the orbit. The cavity looked at most was a 2D square cavity. These have been studied a lot, and we know that the most common orbit is a diamond-like path shown here. It also has a highly directional emission pattern. We were interested in oscillations and intensity that occur near the maximal emission angle. These haven't been observed before because of the high resolution required. By incorporating a vertical slit into our experimental setup, we were able to limit the light taken in by the spectrometer and achieve a much higher resolution, ultimately observing the predicted oscillations with very good agreement. We also took a brief look at 3D cavities, which are relatively unstudied. When we pumped a cubic cavity, we observed a clean spectrum with evenly spaced peaks corresponding to the same diamond-like orbit as for the square. When we did the same for a cone, we found a much noisier spectrum. These peaks are are consistently observed but not evenly spaced, so we don't know what orbits might be lasing. This study is a work in progress. Lastly, with the help of my collaborator Paul Scott, we used an SLM or spatial light modulator to selectively pump along the diagonal of the cavity and observed a spectrum corresponding to the Fabry Perot type of oscillation instead of the usual diamond like orbit. This is also a work in progress as we try to determine whether the shape of the beam or some other aspect of the SLM creates this change in pumping. In summary, we used a new approach to observe previously unseen dependence on viewing angle with the 2D square in good agreement with the model. We also got to explore new ground with the 3D cavities and selective pumping with the SLM, all while learning more about the optical microgravities and practicing good experimental analytical procedures. Thank you for watching.